after Catsmeow wins, he won't stop at Antarctica. He wants to rule the world. for the black butterflies. I'm tired of it, you hear? I'll take care of you right now, ape man. I'm giving you one last chance to surrender without violence. Disappeared? Why, he just disappeared right into that wall there. Obviously, he can control the molecular arrangement of his body so that his molecules pass through any other.
speed racer, he's a demon on the wheel. He's a demon and he's gonna be chasing after someone. He's gaining on you, so you better look alive. He's busy revving up the powerful Mach 5. And when the odds are against him and there's dangerous work to do, bet your life's eraser, see it through. Go speed racer, go speed racer, go speed racer, go. He's often flying as he guns a car around the track. He's jamming down the pedal like he's never coming back. Adventure's waiting just ahead. Go speed racer, go speed racer, go speed racer, go. Who are you anyway? Snake Oil is the name, and I'm a pretty good racer myself. Why don't we have a race to see which one of us is better? Okay, let's go. <laughs> make the ah! pile of cars higher. You'll never be able to make it. Don't argue with me. Do as I say. Make it higher. Next, Mr. Snake Oiler. <laughs> he did it. Snake Oiler just drove over the top of the biggest stack we've had yet. Mr. Euler is a star member of the world-famous car acrobatic team. He's on the car acrobatic team, huh? Well, I've sure heard of them. I was just warming up. Everybody's gonna have to do some fancy driving you to better me. not try at speed, because if you crash, I'll lose my best competitor in the next Alpine race. Oh, speed, you'll never make it. Trixie's right, Speed. Now, don't do it. She's right, all right. If I'm going to beat Snake, I'll beat him in the Alpine race. It's my... Star's title character, Marine Boy, an intelligent, strong, and athletic teenager, of approximately around 13 to 15 years old, and he works for an organization known as the Ocean Patrol. The Ocean Patrol is tasked with keeping the world seas safe from anyone who would do them harm. Marine Boy's father, Dr. Mariner, is a key figure in the organization, as is Professor Fumble, who is responsible for creating Marine Boy's wetsuit. However, this isn't just any normal wetsuit. Its material is bulletproof, and it can deflect many projectiles. Which is a good thing, as it shows enemies aren't afraid of shooting at Marine Boy. Uh, why his father sends him into danger is anyone's guess. You can't hurt me, monster! Not while I'm wearing my Marine suit! As you can see guys, that suit is pretty cool. I wouldn't mind one myself. But maybe the most impressive is the boomerang that Marine Boy carries. Um, it's just not any boomerang, but an electrified boomerang that emits an electric charge when connecting hard with an object. Many enemies feel the shock of this weapon and many ships are destroyed by it. And you can see this right by here in this clip. Saucer lands on Earth. In that saucer, patrol A3. 
sent to Earth to help achieve law and order. Three superior beings from outer space. The amazing three. Spacemen with a vision. You must make a very big decision. With your solar bomb, you could destroy us. Or save the world. Or save the world. young people with superpowers. And watching over them from Center Neptune, Seven Zark Seven. Watching, warning against surprise attack by alien galaxies from beyond space. Protecting Earth's entire galaxy. Always five, acting as one. Dedicated, inseparable, invincible. Oh, 
Survive with our star blazers. 